Hi everyone, uh, I'm uh, Guillaume, I'm a stormtrooper on the, in the, working in a Death Star. And uh, I'm also a citizen scientist at Backyard World Planet 9. And today I'm off duty, so uh, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about Vizier. Okay, I suppose you've already seen my first video about uh, BASIC, uh, about IRSA, Simbad and uh, other stuff. So if you don't, if you haven't watched it, uh, you have the li the link below. Okay, let's go into it. So uh, once you have your coordinates, uh, uh, remember that you can uh, copy them and uh, plug them in the WiseView page. Uh, WiseView is a site created by uh, Dan Kazelden. It's a city. He's a citizen scientist. Uh, Stormtrooper, if you're listening, uh, don't mistake him with Darth Kazelden, which uh, uh, is a Thys Lord. It's uh, the same spelling, but nef definitely not the same person. So, uh, let's uh, copy our coordinates, and you can see here an example of a brown dwarf, a known brown dwarf, and you can see here that it's clearly moving. So, this is, uh, this is Vizier. Uh, it's a very important uh, site. Um, if you are hunting uh, brown dwarfs, uh, it's also important if you're a stormtrooper and, uh, for example, you're in charge of an uh, interstellar trip. Uh, that's the place you want to look in. So, how does it work? Uh, Vizier is a site you can access uh, by uh, Google, or if you're on a backyard world site, uh, if you're on a subject, you've um, seen that there's a I, I button here. Uh, where you can access Simbad or uh, IRSA, and there's a link to Vizier. So, what is Vizier? Vizier is actually a list um, of catalogs. Uh, catalogs are um, themselves lists of objects um, that can, can come from um, several sources. Let's get back to the beginning of Vizier, um, and um, let's suppose you have uh, here on, the, on this site, uh, we learned in a previous video how to get coordinates. Let's suppose I have here the, my coordinates. I copy them and in Vizier I can uh, enter the coordinates here uh, and uh, I can select here a radius of such. Um, to, so uh, my advice here is not let, uh, to let uh, two arc minutes because uh, it's, too, it's too big. Um, and because you have here precise coordinates, you can set it to uh, 0 0.9 arc minutes or, um, or 6 arc seconds. I click go. Okay, so what is this? Um, you see that at my coordinates, um, there's several catalogs that find something here. Uh, there's, there are two types of catalogs. The first catalog uh, are uh, those coming from surveys performed by satellites, uh, telescopes, and uh, basically, uh, if you take an example here, uh, so this catalog, um, for example, uh, lists only lists uh, point sources, so, and you see that there's a billion rows, a billion rows, so um, in the whole sky. This kind of catalog uh, does not tell you if uh, your thing is a brown dwarf or a, a galaxy or something. It's just saying that there is a, a, a light, uh, there's a point source here in the in the in this coordinate in your your um, search radius. So uh, there are lots of catalogs like this one. Um, this one uh, is uh, often uh, met also. And uh, there's a, the two catalogs that are interesting for us are two mass because it uh, it looks at uh, inter infrared sources. You see, 400 billion. Um, but again, it's a, it's it just points in the sky. We don't know uh, anything about the the nature of the source and the um, the very important one for a, a backyard world is this one. Always, always. Uh, 2013 is the catalog that lists uh, every uh, uh, light source in the in the whole sky in infrared, performed by the Wise Telescope. Okay, so 
uh, what do we have here? I have just put my coordinates and we see that um, there's uh, something here. It looks like uh, it looks very close. So, um, so it looks like our object. This is my obje the object I've selected. So that's interesting. What do we have here in the in, in the in the features? We have the name of the the object. Okay. We have the coordinates, the precise coordinates here, and uh, we have some. Uh, Magnitudes W1, W2, uh, W3, W4, and other some other stuff. So uh, this is very important because uh, it tells us about the color of the source. Is it a hot hot thing, cold thing? Uh, it will uh, allow us to um, predict if uh, if it's a. Uh, 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 M dwarf, uh, L dwarf, T dwarf, Y dwarf, uh, and we'll talk about a little about this later. Um, I've said there are two kinds of catalog. The other kind of catalog are the one below. Uh, when um, astrophysicists uh, perform uh, surveys or studies, uh, and uh, for example, they are looking for brown dwarfs, uh, uh, let's suppose they found some. Uh, they put all their discoveries in catalogs, but this time it the the rows indicates um, the rows have labels. You know that it's Brandorf or galaxies or, or, or uh, other stuff. So uh, what's interesting uh, when you are looking in Vizier uh, uh, for an object, you are looking. You want to know uh, if uh, any, anyone has already discovered your object. So, if that's the, that's the case, maybe they have put it in a catalog. So, uh, it can be difficult, but uh, there's a simple rule. First rule, if you see in the title of the catalog, brown wolves, like here, you know you're screwed, you know uh, you're burned. This object has already been uh, classified and discovered. Here you can see that our object, uh, for example, spectral type is a T dwarf, T6 dwarf. So you cannot claim to be the discoverer of this object. Uh, first red, first uh, rule, if you see uh, brown dwarfs indicated in the title, or you can uh, sometimes see uh, names uh, like uh, if you see Massé, okay, uh, if you see Kirkpatrick, uh, he's a, a guy that uh, discovered a lot of brown dwarfs, so uh, if you see his name, it's uh, bad news. You also can see uh, Schneider, uh, Schneider is Adam Schneider, the, the, the Adam Schneider from the Backyard World team. He also the, performed a study and discovered some, uh, some uh, brown dwarfs. Okay, um, oh, you see Kirkpatrick, 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 Kirkpatrick. So uh, again, Massé, uh, Griffith is also, um, you see, brown dwarf. Okay, in, uh, in my object, uh, I have studied this object, I've plugged the coordinates in Vizier, and I've noticed that other guys have already discovered. Okay, so um, let's try. Uh, another coordinates. Here I've plugged uh, uh, another um, object I've found uh, myself. So uh, we see uh, that uh, there's, there are the same catalogs. Uh, so you go down, 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 down to always. Here you can see that all the scary catalogs, the Brandwolf catalogs, are almost um, always below the always catalog. Above always, there's a, it's just, basically it's just point source, it, it's, uh, it doesn't matter. If you don't see anything below, or if you don't see any catalogs indicating brown dwarfs, or um, the name I've, uh, I've mentioned, it's a good sign. Here, uh, it's another object uh, of mine, and uh, you can see that uh, there's nothing below. So I've reported the I've reported this object month ago, uh, and uh, 
and uh, it's list it's uh, yeah, right now it's a list of it's listed in um, in the candidate list so um so now let's talk about uh, magnitudes here in the otherwise catalogs you see that there are uh, several magnitudes uh, w1 to w4 and um, jhk uh, these are um, infrared colors uh, there's no not a single infrared but uh, several kind of infrared uh, and um, you see that there are uh, magnitudes li magnitudes listed here so how to use this uh, take w1 w2 and you uh, you take w1 minus w2 and uh, um, there you that can give you an idea of the the type of your brown dwarf if it's a brown dwarf uh, in the blog uh, backyard world blog uh, um, I think it was uh, one of the first article uh, by uh, Mark uh, you see this graph where they plugged uh, W1 minus W2 magnitude and you can see here spectral types uh, so in my case uh, for example we have um, uh, um, a difference of 1.2 1.2 so it's here so we can predict um, roughly that uh, this object could be a T dwarf okay so magnitudes are uh, um, that's the purpose of uh, this kind of magnitude uh, stormtroopers uh, the Death Star has uh, W1 minus W2 uh, much much higher uh, it's uh, I think about uh, eight to nine, uh, eight to nine uh, uh, magnitudes, uh, depending on the on the weather. But uh, hey, if you're a stormtrooper and you need Vizier to look for the Death Star, you are pretty stupid. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, sorry if the video is a little bit messy, but um, uh, you know I don't have uh, much time to do rehearsals. Uh, we stormtroopers ha only have a few hours uh, break. So happy hunting everyone and um, I'm going back to my shuttle. See you.